it's not every day that crowds of people gather on the Ferndale Bridge to watch plants be removed. I love it. It's awesome. But it's not every day plants are removed with goats. Goats in Johnstown? I know. <laughs> it's like, what are they talking about? Goats in Johnstown. Actually, I'm starting to get a little bit of a reputation. People call me the crazy goat lady. That crazy goat lady is Paula Epley Newman. She's the board chair of the Trinity Farm Center for Healing. It uses these goats as therapy to help people heal. We figured if we're going to have goats, why not? Let's let's put them to work. Everybody needs to be working somehow. <laughs> and this weekend, they're working in partnership with the Cambria County Conservation and Recreation Authority. Trying to eradicate uh, the Japanese knotweed that has kind of taken over the trail and uh, doing that in a way that does not use spraying or herbicides, but instead uses goats. While the goats eat, volunteers make it all possible, like those from the Cambria County Correctional Center. Me and this guy here, we went through our sentence together, so yeah. get to work with people I already knew, give back to the community. It's, it's good for the, for the community, and I think like, I wish that there were more people here looking. It's, it's very interesting to see. It's quite the sight seeing these animals eat their way through the knotweed. They've been eating since they got here, so I think they're enjoying themselves. So I think it's real, it's real therapeutic because, you know, I'm, some people are used to this, some people are not. So it's a good experience. There you go. Organizers say once the knotweed is gone, they'll be able to replant native species. And those walking the trails will get a better view of the river again, too. In Johnstown, Daniel Hamburg, 6 News.